Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be telling you the advantages and the disadvantages of using the new way of Hackintosh. So if you don't know about the new way, basically you use Proxmox as a hypervisor and run macOS in a virtual machine, which has both advantages and disadvantages bundled with it. If you want to know how to do this, check out my channel where I go through it. There is a whole starter guide for people like you. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. And is it worth a switch? Keep watching to find out. So let's go through the advantages. So the snapshots feature is one of the best things the new way has to offer. It allows you to create a snapshot of the virtual machine before you change something, such as updating macOS or changing your config.pos. If this was your old way and something went wrong, you would have a hard time getting it back. Not anymore with Proxmox. You can restore from snapshot and get in directly back to where you were before you messed something up. So an example will go on screen now. So if I rename this folder to say super important folder. Okay. And put it here on the desktop. Now if I go to snapshots, create snapshot super important take the snapshot then you can see it's capturing all the RAM so we're gonna wait for that so as you can see it says task or okay. care so now if we go into full screen and delete this folder move to trash and then empty the trash here that is now gone. You'd see it as gone unless you use some data recovery. So if I go to snapshots, click on the super important and click roll back. Yes, it will run. And you will see in a moment that we will get task OK. As you can see. So we go back to console. You can see in our super important folder is now back. So hopefully that showcases the snapshots feature to you. So the template feature is another good feature of doing Hackintosh the new way. It allows you to set things up the way you want to and create a template of it. This allows you to clone the template so you can have multiple virtual machines of your Hackintosh, allowing, it, allowing you to use each one for a specific purpose. So I specifically use this to test applications before I do them on my real machine. And it makes life a lot easier to do. So, uh, because Proxmox is a hypervisor, you can turn uh, your existing computer into a multiple operating system computer. Um, and you can run multiple operating systems on one computer, even at the same time. So as an example, I can run macOS Monterey on my GT630 and my Windows 11 gaming PC VM on my 6500 XT. This makes it sort of a dual boot computer, but without the risk of corruption, which is great compared to the old way. And the snapshot feature also works for any virtual machine. So if anything gets messed up, I can restore from snapshot in seconds or from a whole backup in just minutes. So let's go on to the disadvantages. So you can't use full hardware capabilities, so what I mean by this is you can't use all your 8 cores and 16 threads as an example on a Ryzen 7 2700X. So this means that it does decrease the maximum output of your CPU to the allocations you do set. You also can get congestion in your network if you're only using one Ethernet cable and one network interface card. The network can get overloaded and you can get na network dropouts, which is bad for any sort of application of Proxmox. And you can get occasional f uh, freezes, especially if you're using one drive for all your virtual machines. You can experience a lot of freezes. As an example, if I'm trying to play a game like Grand Theft Auto V, and I'm installing a new OS on a new virtual machine or doing a backup of a VM, I can start to experience game freezes, crashes and even whole system crashes. This is why my PC virtual machine is on its own separate disk. 
even worse if you are using a hard drive the hard drive will really struggle to do lots of things at once so that's it thanks ever so much for watching this video hopefully you've um i've persuaded you to switch um, there will be a poll when the video goes live in the community tab on my channel, so let me know what you think and if your decision has changed. Thanks ever so much for watching. Goodbye.